Hey guys, welcome to a new video by DJSBRC. I want to show you guys basically how to change your servo on a low center of gravity from Traxxas. What you're seeing in blue right now is the two-wheel drive slash with the low CG chassis. One of the first thing uh, you'll need to do is open your receiver box here and unplug your servo. You will need a two mil. You need to remove the cover that waterproofs the wire going in the box. Then you have two more screws here to undo. And usually these guys are 2.5s. Grab my 2.5 here. Unscrew these guys here. Now this vehicle in the beginning was a normal chassis. And like I said, it was converted to a low CG. Now once you remove that, you're going to remove your cover, unhook your lead to your receiver. Now it doesn't have a receiver inside, it's just a roller. Take your wire, just leave it lying around. Now the other thing you're going to do is the linkage that links the servo to the main steering post. Uh, you will need to unhook this guy later on. Now you'll have a screw here and two more here to remove. Flip it around, you'll have these three here. Now just for a little bit less of a pain, we're going to unhook from the direct to the wheels. And these guys have 5.5 on the other side. I'm not sure if you guys can physically see it. It's right here. Now we'll grab our 5.5. That did not take out. Sorry about that. It would be, it would be, wow. It would be easier for me to remove the wheel. But what I'm trying here is less step as possible. In layman terms, what that means is dismantle the vehicle less as possible. Less step it is. Now we'll do the other side here. That has a different size. Again, this vehicle is not mine. It was loaned to me to be able to show you guys. There's a little bit weird steps into it. Now I'm just gonna unscrew the bottom while I can. And this one is done. Now we'll do this side. And I'll show you in a couple of seconds here why I'm dismantling uh, the steering linkage. And you'll see. Okay, the screws are old. Now, basically, you're going to grab your 2.5 and we're going to remove these four screws here. Now, if you do play a lot in water, your bolts will rust. There is uh, basically stainless kits that does exist for this vehicle that will prevent some of the rusting. This guy here, if you can know, if you notice, the screws are a little bit rusted. I 
or if you're not going to go stainless, what you could physically do is put a little bit of Corrosion X. I do have a video on Corrosion X if you want to go check it out. Okay. Almost done this guy here. There we go. Now, once we have these three here, we're going to flip the vehicle around. Now we got three more. Three more. In the meantime, I'm unscrewing these three here. Uh, if you guys ever need uh, advice or something, don't hesitate ask. Just post a comment down below. And don't forget to join my group. I have a group on Facebook, DJs PRC. Any questions, don't hesitate, ask it. Because if you don't know the answer, it's not a stupid question. And we're down to our last one here. Now, once you remove these three here, this will pop out. Now you'll see the reason why I was saying to remove this wire out of the receiver box. And the other reason is to remove these guys here. Now you have the complete servo unit and steering linkages in your hands. And basically, you're able to turn this to change your servos. Change your servo, should I say. Now you can put that aside. And basically now what we'll need to do is remove this bolt here. Then you'll have three more bolts. Remove our servo protector, our servo saver, and be able to swap this guy out for the newer one. Now, I'm just gonna remove this screw right here. I think it's a little bit rusted. And we're gonna grab our two mil. Unscrew this guy from here. Then remove all four corner screws right, right here and here, here and here and basically put their new servo in. Now, before you put your new servo in, grab your servo, grab a servo tester if you have one, and just put, make sure to put the servo at dead zero. Now, let's say you don't have a servo say, a tester, basically plug it in, put the servo in, just don't put this guy in right away, plug it back in your receiver, turn your remote on, turn your vehicle on, and you'll hear the servo go zzz, Basically what it is going to do is it's going to center the servo. Now once the servo is centered, you're going to re-grab this and put it 100% straight and re-bolt your, your bolt. And once that's done, you'll be able to put it back on the vehicle and do the same procedure which I just showed you. In the meantime, while you have this open, like this guy right here, it's all rusted. Basically, we're going to grab a rag and cleaning solution. You could grab basically uh, soap and water or Dynamite has the uh, some products. I do have a video on that one too. Show you how to clean your, your vehicle. But clean it up at the same time. Why not? You're on this. You're there. Now, basically what we're going to do here is screw this guy back here. And if you do have any damaged screws or rusted screws, we'll use the time at the same to swap them back out. There we 
go. No, while I'm here. There we go. These were a little bit too tight. Now, one of the mistakes I see a lot of people when they change this part right here to the, pla the white plastic to the black plastic, they forget to put these two screws back. Don't forget this if you do change this part here. But we'll have a separate video on this later on. Now, basically, insert your wire back in the hole. Make sure you put these guys right here. And screw this guy back in. Just basically the reverse step I showed you to how to remove it. Now I'm just going to put one in, flip it aside, and again, same thing again. say you put all the other screws in take your receiver box top make sure to your gasket is back where it needs to be reinsert it right on your cap plug in back in your receiver that's port number one and basically button your receiver back up now if you guys have any questions or comment please post them below I'll be gladly to answer you guys and if you like this video, hit that like button in the corner over there. I do appreciate it a lot. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Thank you, guys.